Waiterson. Here today, just going to show you um, a new install we've done today, which is on a Mini Cooper. Uh, now, this system comes with this frame section here. We do have another more expensive system on, on the website, um, which comes with a gloss, gla a gloss a black frame, and also you get the CD panel down below. Uh, yeah, put your events going to obviously screen um, is nice. Uh, I like very. I think it's about an eight or nine inch screen on this one here. Um, only downside on this system here is this section here there will only show in kmh uh, but you do have this alternative here which is changes between miles per hour and kph so that's the only downside all these uh, icons here for like your engine management like headlights uh, tpms um, seatbelt warning traction control speed speedometer and stuff like that they all they'll work uh, your oil um, fuel consumption gauge down there obviously is also working too uh, so this is our HV range which comes with an Ecole processor 464 gig as RAM um, and recently they've changed the interface on this because the older style um, it just tends to just show the kph there so obviously this is now obviously a new interface which shows that uh, so this is your home page here um, as you can see it's a nice really nice smart design you've got your Google Maps a little shortcut screen there too you've got like an mp3 shortcut there too all these icons along here are customizable so you can alter them uh, and bring over any apps that you obviously prefer so if i was to do that so just bring your vehicle settings one over there so i'll just go give you a little run through of what the <coughs> system's got uh, so it's got uh, FM AM, um, so obviously you can have your preset radio it stations, it uh, does years. work with the steering Text wheel controls, so as you can see me loading it down, well obviously you can see it on the, at the bar there, but obviously it's not going to show it, uh, where I'm physically doing on the steering wheel, because obviously it's out shot, um, you've got that there too, you've also got your Bluetooth where you can take your phone calls and you can also stream music from your phone to this app here too. Um, also there's your music app, also video play. So these music app here is pretty much if you want to put your music onto a pen drive uh, and you can play your movies and, this, uh, and your, your music through that way there. So it's come with two USB cables which are tucked out of shot. Uh, we put them in the footwell because obviously this, the glove box was sealed. Uh, it's got full HD screen as you can see. This is just a demo video which the factory have put on here. So if you just go back out onto that one there. Uh, okay, let's have a little look. Okay, this is a good one here. So this is your CarPlay Android Auto application here. So obviously I've linked my uh, Apple phone to it today. Obviously Android Auto, pretty much the same functionality but different menus. So this CarPlay app is a good little um, icon, it's a good little option to use. So obviously it brings over any navigation apps, uh, does your phone apps, does your text messaging apps. Uh, any music app sort of thing brought over from the phone. Uh, there's my SoundCloud, TuneIn Radio, Talk Sports, Google Maps there. So obviously just give you a little indication of what the Google Maps look like. Uh, and if I was to show you what the Apple Maps looks like too. Uh, so that's uh, if you've got the Apple Maps on your phone. Uh, just to go back out to this one here, obviously you go back to there. Um, okay, vehicle settings. Okay, so this is... It uh, just shows you a little bit of obviously CAN bus support on here, which is obviously uh, just your fuel consumption. Let me just go through here one second. Um, we've done that one there to do, haven't we? So, yep, and you've also got your Play Store built in. Uh, you can see it's nice and quick and responsive. You do get a lot of customers asking if our systems um, have any lag on them. Um, reasons being, what is it? This industry tends to be littered full of cheap alternatives out there with four core processors one or two and 16 gig of ram which is basically it's just these systems need at least an eight core processor if it's not going to there it'll just drive you nuts otherwise so if you do go for the cheaper alternative then obviously just make sure you go for an eight core one um it's it's fundamental in this industry like so it'll just drive you nuts if you went for any any lower than that in the processor um so as you can see, nice and responsive. Um, there's a couple of Google browsers and Chrome and stuff like that. Um, File Manager, which if you want to download any apps on the system, um, you can do that too there through like you know like apps like IPTV and stuff like that, which you can't get on the Play Store. Um, okay, it's got a built-in uh, DSP sound processor. So obviously, if you're into your um, subwoofers and amps and speakers and stuff like that then obviously there's a lot of um, 
enhancing that you can do on this type of app here. So let's just go back out. Um, okay, there's your Google Maps, which I showed you before, operation guide. So there's an e-manual, so obviously they tend not to give you any paper versions these days. Uh, so you tend to get it all uh, digitally on the system itself. Uh, I say there's your Play Store, which you can download all your apps to. You do need an online data connection with that anyway. Uh, settings here, just like if just you're not familiar with Android and stuff, obviously you do get like a lot of settings where you can tweak the sound and stuff like that. And da -da -da. Let's have a little look what else we got here. YouTube, which you're probably watching this video on. Uh, voice search. So this is this is linked into Google. So if you did have that on there, I don't even know it's going to work. There you go. So you do need an internet connection with this, which you can connect your phone's hotspot to it, or it does go with a SIM card holder too. So you can put a data uh, a SIM card with data on to uh, and this this voice guidance things tends to be related to google browser okay so i'll just uh, also you got your aux in there too uh, so if you wanted to link anything kind of through the auxiliary in you can do like digital tv boxes and stuff like that with the rcns AV in should i say um yeah so i'll just bring it to an end today so i say hope you like the video give us a shout if you've got any questions and um, we'll put the link down below in the description and um give us wait a